If you're a learning content creator, you may not think of yourself as a marketer, but there's one thing you can and should steal from the marketing field that can make a huge difference in the success of your content, and that is writing great headlines. Our brains are constantly bombarded with information, whether it's from our phones, TVs, or computers. But did you realize that our brains are really wired to ignore most of it? In fact, research has shown that our brains can only process a limited amount of information at any given time. So what does that mean for you? It means you need to make a great first impression with your titles and headlines or risk the, or risk the fact that your content doesn't even get seen. So I'm going to walk you through a quick seven taps learning module and talk a little bit about that and some things you can do to get started. You can see here that I've got a little bit of uh, advanced prep work done and I'm going to have three chapters. Uh, the first part just calling the fact that nobody pays attention and I'm going to use an example of a marketing ad for Skoda, which is a European cars to illustrate that point. Then we're going to sort of share an article that talks about headlines and what the impact they have on people's perception of your content. I'll also include a free tool to help you check your titles uh, and get some feedback to make them better. And then finally, I'm going to add a section at the end here, the chapter to hear from you guys. So how much time you spend with your titles, you know, before and going forward and a form to capture some feedback from you and if you have any tips or tools you'd like to share to help other people make great headlines. So I'm over here signed in to 7TAPS and as I mentioned I'm going to use those three chapters. Um, pay attention, titles need to make a good first impression, and then the part at the end where we're going to hear from our viewers. Remember I mentioned in this first section I wanted to use a video example to illustrate the point that our brains miss a lot of things. So I'm going to add a video. It's in two parts. I um, uploaded that earlier. But one little tip that I can share that I did for that video was I actually used Canva and it's a landscape video and I wanted to add some text and some instructions here so I pulled the video into Canva and then created this as a, a video that I exported as an mp4 file. So I'm going to add both of the videos and finish up this chapter, this first chapter, and then I will be right back and keep going with chapter two. So now I've added my two videos and a couple of cards to set up each one of those for chapter one. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to chapter two. The first thing I want to include in chapter two is a link to a really great article in the New Yorker by Maria Konnikova about how headlines change the way we think. It's really uh, thought provoking and important to read for anybody who writes titles and headlines, which is uh, most of us. So I'm going to add a link to that article over in seven taps and put the link in here and give it a caption and give it a title. My title is going to be about the fact that titles can significantly influence your audience perception of your content. So that's the first part I want in chapter two. And then the second thing that I want to put in chapter two is a link to a free tool, a free online tool from CoSchedule that is called Headline Studio. And basically how this works is you put your titles into the site and it tell it to analyze your, your title. And it gives you a score here. You can see 74 uh, green. That's a pretty good title, pretty good score. And it also will give you some feedback about a word balance, uh, power words, emotional words, and some links that will help you learn how to write titles and headlines with higher scores, which get more attention. So I'm going to add another link card here and put in the Coast Schedule Headline Analyzer tool. We'll say try it out. 
and we'll put a title to go along with that as well. So for that title, I'm going to say Kuschedule's Headline Analyzer will help you evaluate and craft better titles. That's looking good. And then the last bit I wanted to put in here is a quote. I'm a big fan of quotes. So I'm going to add another card for my quote. And I'm going to say it's by David Ogilvy. And you got to have an image to go with a quote just to make it have a little bit more impact. So let me add the picture that I have in here for him. And then, of course, I love to be able to drag to resize this. So let's make him a little bit more prominent. Uh, that looks good. Now we just have that last chapter to finish out to hear from uh, some feedback and uh, take a quick poll from viewers of this Seven Taps content. So I'm going to start off with a poll question. I'll go ahead and make this an anonymous type of poll because it doesn't really matter who it is. We'll just take those responses anonymously. I think the question we'll ask here is how much time do you spend on titles and headlines? We'll say the first one is not much. They're not important. Not important. And then we'll say a lot. They are important. We'll add a third one that says um, going to spend more time on them now. Whoops. So that looks good for our poll. The last one I want to add here is a form to get some freeform answers. So we use a form for that. And the question I would love to hear from everyone about is what are your go-to tips, tricks, and tools for writing great headlines? And hopefully we'll get some, some good tips and tools from some of the viewers. And finally, I've been talking a lot about things that L&D people should steal from marketing. Uh, if you're interested in more information, I've got tons of stuff out on my website, so I want to close with a link for anybody who is interested in learning more. So we'll just add one final link card in here with the URL on my website where you can find all of that. We'll label the button, learn more, and give it a title. So that title or description is just gonna say, learn about more things L&D should steal from marketing on my website. And then we will wrap it up from here. One final thing I'll do is I'll just browse the themes and see maybe something that strikes my eye that I might like a little bit better. I'm kind of a fan of blue. Let's see. That one looks nice. Ooh, I kind of like the gradient on that one. Um, let's do blue and gradients. Let's try that one. And to wrap up, I, I hopped in the time machine a little bit did a little bit of, of cleaning at, cleaning up and adding a little bit of uh, one or two cards for some context. And now we've got our really slick, I think pretty good looking seven taps course that we can sort of walk through. Uh, I love the gradients. This is the, uh, the video prompts. Uh, I've got a little prompt in between first and second video. And you can see here we step through this here, chapter two, uh, talk about titles and headlines. Here's the link to our article. Here's our David Ogilvy quote. There is our tool that we want to link out to and let people try. So give that a try. It's a really, really fabulous, helpful tool. I use it all the time. And then a little bit of feedback at the end. So Hopefully you learned a little bit about seven taps and a little bit about the importance of writing titles and give some of those things a try. And I'd love to hear about it if you do. Thanks.